hey good afternoon how are you boy it's sunny out today which is awesome it's a beautiful october i'm going to move this over just a little bit a beautiful october october um uh, afternoon and i am today working from home some of you know that i am a fitness and nutrition coach and that i also own my own fitness center but i have the awesome flexibility that one day a week that i when i can i stay home and i do some, my, some of my coaching business here and i also do some things for you know the center but i do it at home a lot of times when um, you're a business owner, which for those of you that have never owned your business before, this is the first time I've owned a business. <laughs> so sometimes you just can't get things done when you're there because there's all kinds of other things that go on and you want to be in the mix and, and whatnot. So I am standing here. It is October, I think 11th, and I'm going to share something, a story with you today that maybe I know some of uh, the people that follow me know this story, but there, there are a ton of you probably that do not. And I'm gonna back up because I wanna show you something um, that I'm wearing right now and it's part of my story, okay? So if I back up, uh, you see that I am in a sports bra and a pair of leggings, right? No big deal, right? I probably wear less on the beach. There's no probably I do. Um, and <clears throat> when I go to the fitness center, I, I'm dressed appropriately. I don't ever take my shirt off. Um, it's just something that I, you know, in the privacy, my own, my, uh, privacy of my own home, I can do whatever I want, right? Uh, as long as I'm not hurting someone. So the day I almost got fired, and I wanted to share this story with you today. Um, this was uh, a little over, almost two years ago. I can't exactly tell you the date. I know it was in the spring. Um, of the last year that I was teaching before my husband and I opened the fitness center. And I was driving to work one morning. Let me think about this. Was I driving to work or already there? No, actually, I was already there. It was on a Monday. I remember this now specifically. It was on a Monday. The phone rang in my classroom and it was after kids had been out of my room and it was from the uh the phone call was from our at that time our current union president and he said something to me about um you know it was really a cryptic call and i didn't really understand what he was talking about and and he said um i digress before i go on any further at that time i had already been a health and fitness coach i'd already uh, started um a business doing that health and fitness coaching um, I had been a fitness instructor for you know at that point six seven years okay and so this was just the next next step in that in that arena and so I get this phone call and he you know he said I received a very strange phone call today from from HR and, and it was about you and about a post and I was like Okay, so yeah, part of what I do as a fitness and nutrition coach is I post on social media. I share um, inspirational things. I share things about nutrition and fitness. It's part of my job, right? And I have always had a Facebook page. Um, when I started teaching dance fitness back in 2011, I had my own personal page where I shared a lot of what I did as, as far as when I was instructing Zumba. So not, not a big deal, no problem, right? I shared workouts, no, no, no problem. And so I, you know, the phone conversation started, keep, you know, he kept going and he said, I said something about a post and I said, okay, um, could you give me a little more information, you know, kind of a thing. And, and he had said that it was a post on Instagram and, and I knew exactly the post that he was talking about. So this one morning, this was a Saturday morning in my own home in my bathroom. My husband and I were in the bathroom and I was in my, you know, my workout wear and, and he was in, you know, his, his boxers like two married people would be, right? Um, I mean, maybe not everybody wears sports balls and, 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 and uh, workout wear, but we did because we, that's part of who we are. And we were, you know, 
enjoying the fact that both of us were really feeling good about ourselves, okay? Uh, feeling good about our relationship, feeling good about our bodies. We've, we've worked really, really hard. Um, we had worked really hard to become a healthier people. We had both had uh, health scares in our families. My husband had lost a, a family member that was close to our age um, uh, because it wasn't healthy. And it was a catalyst to propel us to do what we're doing. And so there was a moment we were standing there and I remember um, that my husband was really proud of himself. He was proud of the fact that he had worked really hard to return his body to what he felt comfortable in after not being comfortable with his body for several years, right? And it was a moment, a tender moment between a husband and a wife and I snapped a photo of it, of our reflection in the mirror. I had no makeup on, I had my hair up, I had just done my workout and he was standing there but but the picture, the way it was positioned looked like, I mean I was dressed, but it looked like my husband didn't have any pants on. It was low and you could see, you couldn't see anything. Um, he would, had just kind of uh, lowered his boxers to show me that, you know, he was really proud of the six pack he was working on, right? And my post was about our relationship. So fast forward to this phone call three days later, well, two days later. Now, the phone conversation continued as in somebody, don't know who, took a snapshot or a screenshot of that post that I made about my husband and I's relationship. There was nothing sexual about the, the post at all. Um, nothing inappropriate. And it was forwarded to the HR department. And my the phone conversation continued and I and it was like, you know, it was basically telling me I needed to take down this post. Uh, and if I, if, if, you know, if the, my employer wanted to, they could fire me for that post. And I instantly became sick to my stomach because here I was a teacher, a teacher of math, reading, writing, being a good citizen, helping people, you name it. And then I was also a teacher of health and fitness and becoming the best version of yourself. And I'm being told that if I don't remove a post that was not, had nothing to do about my job as a teacher, it was, a, it was about my health and fitness business and the relationship between my husband and I, that I was going to be fired. And I, get, I did, I, I became sick to my stomach um, because at that point in time in our business, our, you know, our physical business, we hadn't opened and you know, truth be told, I needed, I needed to have that income to do this business. And um, I don't even know if I told my family this. Um, I mean, my husband knows of course, but I don't know. I mean, I was spending that whole weekend, that whole week with my family and I didn't know when the shoe was gonna drop. I mean, I, I didn't know if I was gonna get a knock on my classroom door and I was gonna be escorted out of the building for posting about health and fitness and wellness between a husband and a wife. And it was that particular moment that I realized that I didn't want to be a part of something that didn't allow me to be who I am outside of my job. That I wanted a, 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 a way to be in this world that I could live my life being me. And if being me was standing in a reflection of a mirror in a sports bra and a pair of pants because I'm a health and fitness coach and I wanna share with people that becoming healthy is possible, then that is not where I belonged. And here I am today, fast forward a year and a half later, I have a thriving business, I have a, a coaching business that's doing well, and I get to work from home. I don't have anybody telling me that I can't wear 
what I wear every day, which is workout wear. I'm, I'm uncomfortable every single day. And I guess the, the whole point of this is, um, one, to share the story, and two, to, to tell you that I was being bullied that day. That's how it felt. I didn't feel appreciated. I didn't feel like my, 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 the history of my career as a teacher, of my stellar career, never had a, a note in my file, I had always got outstanding ratings, was being questioned because I posted a photo of my husband and myself on the internet. And I still today, I don't know who shared that photo with the HR department, but what I will, what I will say um, that, that I feel about that is that if that person really cared about me as a person, I believe that they would have reached out to me first and said, hey, you know, this, this looks a little uncomfortable, whatever, instead of taking it to a higher person. Like they didn't, they didn't, they didn't even consider me in the whole thing. And the other part of that, that story that I left out is that Sunday, so we posted it Saturday morning, Within 24 hours, I had made the choice, my husband and I had made the choice to remove it because there were some people that were saying things that were just truly inappropriate, that I felt that it, it was just unkind. And so we had already made the choice to pull down that video, that, that post. I still have the photo and at some point I will repost it. Um, but the funny part is, is we had already removed it and I still was called about that post. They didn't even know that it, was, it had been taken down. It's nowhere to be found other than uh, unless it had been shared on people's phones, which it was. Um, I mean, obviously it was on the phone of, of our HR department and it was shared on a phone to uh, the president. And um, I am so, uh, I mean, a lot of people come in and ask me, you know, do you, do you, do you miss it? Do you, you know, what, what, how, how do you feel about leaving education? I miss my kids. I miss the students that I had and the, t and the fun that we would have, the little amount of fun that you're allowed to have anymore. I missed, um, see, I miss seeing them, you know, get something, the aha moments. It's like a mom, you know, I, I had, I had a, you know, 25 kids, they were mine. And that's the part that I miss, but I do not miss being bullied, made to feel inadequate, and, uh, you know, there are much graver things that happen out there um, in education, but I was promoting health and wellness. Health and wellness in a relationship. Health and wellness physically and mentally in your life. And, you know, it just really made me realize that this is, this is truly where I'm supposed to be. And so what I will say to you all that follow me, if you're offended by me, um, posting photos of myself in a sports bra and a pair of pants that, that is my, basically my, it's my attire. It's what I wear to work out. I am promoting health and wellness. And if that offends you, then please feel free to unfriend and unfollow. It will not hurt my feelings. Um, I know everybody has their own thoughts and feelings, but what I will ask you to do is to not judge someone because of the picture that you see them post. You don't know the story behind it. My husband and I have worked really, really hard. We've had, um, you know, it's, it's owning your own business is tough. Uh, it puts a lot of strain on your relationship. And we had a strong, we have a strong relationship. And, and even strong relationships can falter when you put in a mix of a, of a, of a business that's hard. And so, um, I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I had a moment today. I'm sitting here at my table. I'm working from home. I'm I'm talking to people about their health and wellness, and I'm. It makes me really, really happy and joyful. And um, I thought of that moment when somebody tried to tear me down because I was sharing something that I love. I wasn't hurting anybody. I was doing it in the comfort of my own home. It was appropriate. And I was being bullied uh, by an entity that feels that they can do that. So I am, I am happy to say that I'm no longer in that 
and that environment, I'm hopeful that that environment has changed because I have a lot of unbelievably great friends that are teachers that deserve just all kinds of accolades. And, and that's another thing. Um, I, I have a, a, a coach on my team who is an educator and she, you know, she, all she wants to do is just be better and help people become healthier and happier. That's our, that's our goal. And I just sent her a little gift because I saw that she's working really, really hard. And her comment was, you know, you go, you go above and beyond in your job that you, that you love. Right. And you never get any, you never get any, you know, recognition for it. Not that we all need, but you know what? How many of you out there, you know, enjoy someone saying, hey, you did a really nice job today. I mean, I remember, and I'm going to wrap this up because I know I'm going long. I remember for a good many years, the first day of school, walking into an in-service and, and basically being told that we, were, we weren't doing our jobs because the test scores didn't show it. I mean, thanks for that. Like, thanks for the uplift. And, and I... I just am so happy that I've partnered with a company that I myself and our company, we give recognition out to people that do things that, that, that the average person is afraid to even try. I mean, everybody wants to see their name on you know, a poster or you know, employee of the month or whatever. Everybody wants recognition and, and that's how sad that, that it, it takes a whole entire year for a teacher to be recognized for something that they do every single day selflessly. And um, so, yeah, I, I today am on this Friday, I'm very thankful and grateful. No matter, you know, I got I to gotta know that, that, that what I'm doing is changing lives and it certainly has changed mine. And so um, I just want to share that with you guys. I, I truly hope that you are in a, 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 a job or a business that you love. And yes, there's always going to be those things that are hard and crunchy and make you feel not so great. Um, but I hope that you never ever feel like you're, you're not worth the time and effort that you put into everything that you do. Um, and then one final note, um, you know, I resigned from my position. I did not retire. I resigned from my position. And um, after 15 years of service, I did not receive one thing from my employer thanking me for my, my service there. That's sad. That's 15 years. And I've done this. I've been in this coaching business for three years. And every single month, I get recognized for my hard work. And it might be in the form of a small gift. It might be just my name on a, on a, on a little certificate. Um, but I, <laughs> I get recognized just for doing what I love. And yes, I will say that I am motivated by that because it makes me feel like I'm making a difference. And so anyway, guys, I hope you're having... Thank you, honey. I love you too. So anyway, live a life of purpose and you will never feel like you've worked a day. Have a great afternoon, guys. Talk to you soon.